Hi everybody, it's Corey here at More Guitars and More Music in Evansville, Indiana. Uh, today I'd like to speak with you a little bit about the Reverend Mercalli 5 FM. The FM stands for Flame Maple. You can see this is a gorgeous guitar with a uh, flame maple veneer on it done in a, a transparent turquoise. Let's talk about how this is uh, constructed and what it's constructed of. I mentioned the, the flame maple cab. It does also have a white limba body, also known as Carina. Uh, it was made popular uh, by another company in the, the late 50s, early 60s on a few models. Uh, one thing that the reverends have that a lot of companies don't are roasted maple necks. Uh, they're done in a satin finish. This is a five piece roasted maple neck, so it's got three pieces of, of maple and two walnut inserts in there. That's really important, and we'll discuss why here in just a little bit. This particular model in this color comes with either a maple fretboard or a pal ferro fretboard. A little different tonally, uh, worth checking out in store. Also features a high mass bridge, this is a very large, thick bridge, something that a lot of bass players uh, look for. Most of the time, one of the first upgrades that a bass player makes uh, will be getting some kind of high mass bridge. Um, you can name off several different brands. They've done a really good job with this. It has three quarter inch string spacing in between, so there's plenty of room uh, to get your fingers in between if you're a slap and, and pop player. Uh, is adjustable for intonation. But one great thing about this particular bridge is it allows you the ability to either run your strings all the way through the body. You can see the ferrules on the back side. So you can run, run the string all the way through the body and through the bridge, or you can top load this. Why is that important? Why would I want something like this? Well, on a lot of five string guitars uh, at a 34 inch scale, a lot of players feel like the B string can feel and sound a bit flabby uh, in that it wobbles a little bit much. If you're the type of player, which I am, it, that lays into the, the strings and beats them like they owe you money, uh, you probably want to string through guitar. It adds a little bit of tension uh, to the string and makes for a tighter, tighter sound. Now on your upper strings, your D, G, and E strings, uh, you may want a looser feel on those strings, so you would top load those. Um, tonally, it's going to be a little bit different. Some people claim that there's more sustain with a, a string through body as opposed to a top load. That remains to be seen. You know, you'd have to do the, the old scientific method on that, and uh, who has time for that? Uh, check it out though, try it out. It's always worth going down these avenues um, as far as what the builder thinks uh, the way it should be done and the way you think it should be done. Um, let's go to the pickups. It's got a uh, Reverend designed and built pickups. It has the thick brick pickup in the bridge position and the split brick pickup in the neck position. This is set up more, uh, not necessarily as a neck pickup, but as a middle position pickup. This is my preferred, this is my preferred area. You get a lot of those old school woofy tones out of it and a little bit more um, open high end. Uh, the thick brick is going to sound a little bit brighter, of course, because it is by the bridge, um, but great sound and pickups. Uh, they do feature a blend knob for the pickups, so you can dial in as much of either one as you want, whether all, all the way back is nothing but the bridge pickup, all the way forward is nothing but the, the neck pickup. It is center detented, so you can feel when you've got, got both pickups at equal amounts. They use what they call 10% potentiometers in here. It is a uh, linear taper pot for the tone control, so it uh, you'll notice a difference in sound all the way through the pot. Uh, they also use capacitors that, that they say are a higher quality and more consistent capacitor uh, throughout. Same thing with the volume control. The tuners on this particular guitar 
are a hip shot ultralight tuner. So they're all aluminum. They say that they shave between two and three ounces off of uh, the weight of the headstock, which is important on a five string uh, guitar. A lot of five string guitars have serious neck dive. This one dives a bit, but isn't terrible. It's not the, the worst that I felt. Uh, also features a dual action truss rod. So that means that you can adjust the action uh, both directions, either uh, convex or concave, so you can, you can put some relief in the neck. Uh, if you're using a super light gauge set of strings or nylon tape wounds that, that have uh, a little less tension. Uh, so you can keep the neck playing, you can keep the guitar playing how you want it, regardless of what kind of strings you put on here. Really, really important. Uh, also, that speaks to the five-piece neck. Uh, having five separate pieces of wood glued together here is going to make for a much more stable guitar, and you're not going to have to adjust. You're not going to have to adjust the the uh, action on this as frequently. So, let's talk about sounds a little bit. Uh, this thing is incredibly versatile. Uh, anything from super bright, Jocko-like jazz tones. I'll roll the tone up. This is nothing but the bridge pickup, and you can hear the... Really focused sound. Uh, this type of sound works really well with harmonics. that it's still going it's still going a lot of sustain out of this guitar um, you can get a lot of the more old-school sounds out of the split brick pickup uh, I think you'll hear a definite difference in warmth <laughs> So uh, a lot of tonal variance. In the center position, kind of wide ranging sound. This would be uh, something that you could use uh, pretty well anywhere. Let's talk about the tone control a little bit. Uh, I use my tone control nonstop on gigs, uh, just depending on, on what I want to get out uh, of the attack uh, specifically. If, if I'm playing classic rock or hard rock, I probably got the, the tone control rolled all the way up. Uh, it will hit the front of your amp a little bit harder. Typically, most uh, tone controls do control a, a bit of the gain uh, that's hitting the front of the amp. So if you want a little bit more grindy tone, you turn the tone control up, lay into the strings a little bit more, it'll get you, get you that sound. So here it is with the tone control all the way up. I'm going to roll it back about 50% and you'll hear how it warms up the attack is a lot less. It's going to hit the front of the amp a, a little bit softer. And then the ultimate old school womp all the way back on the tone control. Okay, Corey, when, when would I ever use that, that muddy sound? 
Well, there's plenty of occasion for it, especially if you're playing uh, Americana stuff, um, country music, blues music, and especially when you start palm muting with your, and playing with your thumb, you can get some really nice upright tones. So just a world of sounds out of this. Um, let's roll it back uh, into the center position, tone control up, I'll do a little slap. I'm not the world's greatest slap player, uh, nor will I ever claim to be, but you can, you can get an idea what the tone is. Lot of sound, a lot of sound. Uh, Reverend Mercalli 5, check it out. Give us a call uh, or visit moreguitars.com. We're always happy to talk basses and uh, uh, talk these fabulous instruments uh, up to you. And yeah, get a hold of us via text, via phone call, or uh, by message. Thanks.